Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com Could even be a Black Lotus. Play first. Keep Double Sphinx once again scrying all the way through our Fires of Invention plus 4th land. Which is really what you always scry into first. Okay, that's, that's a lot of lands. But if we get greedy and buy them all of them, I think I will. I don't need the fourth land that desperately. Okay, so the Castle Venture is gonna be good. I don't think I want these two. So I'll be fine like this. The plate is stopped. Yeah, I'm not gonna get mounted with this, draw the Castle Ventress, and then I'll play the Fairy. Yeah, unfortunately I have to shuffle all of them. Okay, Goose. That's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately shuffling here is not gonna be great. Okay, playing against Junt Cats, or at least Black Green Cat. Do they have a second land? They usually do, you normally keep one land there in Magic the Gathering game. Oh wow, they did. I suggest you not to. Let's get a mountain. That's a good draw. Alright. Turn four to shuffle. No, because then I couldn't be able to play Clarion on the on the goose. It doesn't matter much, like sure, you know, it statistically does matter, but you don't wanna hurt your chances of of you know because of that. Okay, the draw oven, so they have the cat oven combo, but I like, obviously they can't compete with one land against. Also, I have like good draws. <laughs> it's not that I, I have bad draws. This matchup is, is, is close. I enjoy playing it. Uh, we have to watch out for casualties of war now. Mm-hmm. More cats. You have some free spot on channel fireball team. <laughs> yeah, Zanza, yeah, yeah. You you you, you can definitely apply, Federbello. You can definitely apply. They're looking for talent. They're looking for some row annex um how do you say? Looking for row uh, you know, and fun talent like you. Oh, not this game. This game's over. I mean, I would be a great comeback if opponent if opponent doesn't uh, if opponent does come back here. I need to bounce anything because if I bounce the food, I just suck it to the oven, uh, suck it to the culture familiar. And I don't get to draw a card, so I just pass the turn with this plus. You take care of pauper format? Nice. How's Christmas? Great. Petrovsky. Christmas has been great. I I really enjoy Christmas because I got like a pretty large family that like don't really like lives around places, so I I love to just to just gather. During holidays, are those magic painting behind the walls? Behind the walls, there's literally nothing. My walls, it's pretty empty. There's just a lot of magic cards. That's it. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's there's like the 2016 uh, 2016 World Championship. Uh, what's it called? Poster. I don't know. What have 2016 poster? Yeah. Okay, so biggest giant cat. Uh, what to do in this matchup? Couple of Teferi out. I got a Solar Blaze. Ether Gust is great. The Valdecre is good because it, it exiles Corvold uh, and the other thing. I'm not sure about G Bone Crash and Giant. Maybe maybe uh, Justice Strike is slightly better. 
It doesn't kill a cat though. Sorry, oven. Okay, let's, let's just keep like this. What did I eat? I ate a lot of like four or five hours. Actually five, probably five hours of, of lunch, two days, Christmas and the day after. We just celebrate that pretty pretty big way as well. It's all on Twitter. I do the, the, the Manguchi cuisine coverage over there under Mango09. By the way, in case you didn't know, since I uh, got a lot of viewers today, I am sponsored by channelfireball.com and uh, Wizards of the Coast and Ultimate Guard. Um, you can check all the Channel Fireball things over here, supporting me with uh, the code video if you register to a GP and uh, if you buy something from them with the link. And here you can find my YouTube channel where there's uh, lots of videos coming up. I really dislike this play. I played it, I, yeah. Um, mm, I think I'm going to just, just Bone Crash a Giant the Gilded Goose. I don't care about the Miami Devil being around, but I really care about them not making food. No disenchant in this matchup? It could be, yeah, maybe we could just have one disenchant. Okay, more geese. More geese for them. And Topland. Uh, or Raj, let's cast this Bone Crashing Giant, I think. Next, let's go fill positives for, for Island, Fires of Invasion, I don't know, Ether Dust. You always side in these enchants. Yeah, I mean, I, I had these enchants last game and it was awful. This enchant is a situational card, so if you can afford not to, I think it's better not to. I think these enchants is like, when, when I play Return to Nature, my ramp deck at MC7, I only sideboarded in against Fires and uh, Wildness Reclamation. Which Wildness Reclamation basically disappeared now. Because he was only beating cats. Okay. So they were in 12, by the way. Okay, I go to 12 too. The Vow Decree, that's nice. I'm gonna go for a deposit for Island. Fires? Oh wow, shock, yeah. I always forget about the, the Miami Devil pinging me with a Fable Passage. Uh, um, Island. I'll go Fires the Vow Decree on the Miami Devil. I can go build of summer. No, I can go build of summer. <laughs> I love to just uh, keep on mentioning how good build of summer is, but not now. How can you participate with the Mythic Championship? First step is making Mythic on Arena. Second step is making top 1200. Third step is making top 16. Or, oh no, I should have kept this, the Father Creed for this. Or you can be a streamer and be very cool and then Wizards likes you and invites you to their event. That's also a line. It takes it takes longer though. Okay, let's cry first. I don't want this, right? Yeah, I don't want this. I play an Ethicus for free on the Deathless Knight because they don't have land. They put it on top though. They love their Deathless Knight. They draw it. Do you think the level playing streamers generally below mm, no i mean it, it depends like there's like infinite streamers you can't wait how do they draw land there oh the most oh the beast giant okay sure oh, i think it's i think the level of streamers higher than the level of players okay what do we do first i think i'll play shimmer first oh madonna this is some good cards uh Let's just get Kenny. Kenny's super good here. I'll play Topland. We'll crush a giant. Yeah, sure. Better than I uh, kill can't kill the 4-2 the, the haste. I'll play Kenny. 6 to 13. What do we do here? I think I want to gain life. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this hasty. Attack the all. And then I'll gain life. I can even draw a card, but I can't play another spell. I've already played two spells this turn. Yeah, at the end of the month, each month, you have to make top 1200. Our well, players are four. Yeah, I think they didn't quite take this approach of the game very well, I think. Turn two, my young devil, you should never do that. Never do turn two, my young devil. Your food is so important, you can't just ramp to a nation course here. 
Okay, to go massacre girl. Wouldn't do it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. Oops. Massacre girls was very bad in this matchup. Mm. All right. I'm not sure if this matchup is is you know this good. Today we've won it all. All right, guys. We're one match away from Mythic. And 7 away from 1 p.m., which is usually the time that I finish. But I feel that today we need to, could be, could go a little bit longer. And, like, just need to make Mythic. One match away from Mythic. What did your girlfriend parents say when they heard you're a pro at kids card game? Not ah, very supportive. So, Mango, we will see in the next mission championship. Okay, Federbello. I'll see you there. Play first. That's great. We have a Sphinx. Um, yeah, I mean, this hand, what is what is this hand looking for? I think this hand is looking for a fourth land plus a maybe Bone Crusher Giant. Put a Mike into five. That's a very good news. All right, one match away from Mythic. Sphinx of the Foresight. There resolves. Three lands. Uh, how many do I want? Probably a couple. Uh, maybe one. I think one's fine. I'll play Steam Vents here. I don't want to waste a scry on, and I don't need I don't do anything with a second man anyway. Was next pro event I'm attending? I'll attend um, Team Series Team Series Finals in uh, GP Austin. It's the top two teams of 2019. It's Aria Sword, which is the team that I compete with, and Ultimate Guard will will compete in a team draft of the Theros set. And uh, it's gonna be very cool because it's the week before the pre-release, so we'll be playing on coverage the week before the pre-release, and there's a team draft. And we're gonna learn the cards the the, the day before. We're gonna receive product from Wizards, and uh, and learn the draft there. It's gonna be very cool. Okay, I just want to discard all my things. I assume they're work exactly. Uh, it's the format that I love the most that I do every time we cube uh, with my friends for fun. Oh, why? Did I just grab it to Solar Blades? Plenty of four color, four color things there. I guess I'm gonna, like, uh, you know, kill my this. Uh, you draft 3v3 and then you set uh, next to each other uh, enemies. So, enemies, teammate, enemy, teammate. And then you just draft and then you play, and then you play your game without. Uh, if I was an invention, I think I'll draw this. I think it's very good with Castle Ventures in play. I'll put a stop in my upkeep though, and then I'll attack the fairy. And and then you'll play uh, against the team, and uh, if your team wins two to one, you win you 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 win the game. I mean the match or whatever. Oh wow, all the colors. I guess the point is playing uh Niv Mids at Fires. Hope they have videos. Oh, there's coverage. There's gonna be coverage for GP Austin. It's a modern GP that will do coverage of day one and then do coverage, I think, after we finish the team series. You can come to drop. You can, you can come anytime, Fedebella. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. We should have bounced the Sphinx last turn, too, I think. All right, do we want to scry? Uh... All right, they can see. Okay, guys, one game away. I guess the final game against a uh, random... Pretty, pretty, pretty random deck over there. You decide before. I mean, you could decide that before, but sometimes you just you saw you like, oh, you know, I draft a, yeah, I draft blue, blue green, but then you open you open a bomb in red white, and you just have to change. So usually deciding first what to do is not very good choice as a team. If you're not a very good drafter, it could be a good choice. Though. There are different strategies. Uh, okay. Uh, what do we do? What am I playing against? I guess a fire step, but I don't really want to go disenchant. I mean, my opponent doesn't play Golos, I think. I think they could be play Golos. I don't know. I think in the dark, I don't want to have disenchant. I'm going to board out Ether Gust, though, for disputes. I want to have all disputes. I want to board out Clarions and Solar Blaze for Giant and Justice Strike. Uh, Type Taker could be good on the. No. Yeah, let's go with this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Whatever. Are right, I to swap cards inside the team or something? No, no, no. You, you can't swap cards. It is never a good thing to choose before. I mean, it, it could be good. Like, as I said, if you're not very good at drafting, it could be good. I think I'm going to keep this end. 
with Sphinx, you can easily trap yourself in keeping bad hands. I hope I hope they'll bring back or magic work up. Uh, they have no plans to do so soon. Uh, I've asked uh, actually multiple times because that was oh Kaboya. I've actually I've played twenty seven lands. I think this is a keep. Come on, let's just just draw some lands. Mamba fanculo. Oh. Uh, You think modern sucks? Uh, not really. I mean, it's, if you enjoy it, it's fine. Like it's it's a it's a good format if you don't want to follow follow the new formats much. And in your area, they play it. It's like basically like legacy but cheaper. I know. I missed the land drop. Ay ay ay. I'm not gonna give up though. My plan was playing a, not a pretty good deck. Next major summer the tournament will be brand new metagame. Um, yeah, it could it could easily be it could easily be standard is a format that changes a lot based on the new set. Like Chernobyl Drain, for example, completely you know completely shaped its format. Okay, so they go a lot of colors, stars of invention, Potter Ranger, sure. What's the norm of your player? The norm for a new player is to watch streamers and read like channelfireball.com. Those uh, or StarCityGame.com, those will tell you what to do at the beginning of the format. Yeah. All right, let's go Shimmer. Point I didn't like to discard it apparently, and let's get a. Do I prefer Steam Vents or Lava Fountain? I think I prefer Steam Vents here, because I have Calder Flame. All right, fifth land. Point I can play five drops now. Yes, they, they fill the passage first though. I just want to thin the deck for for the visit. Escape the wild. I was pretty bad escape the wild. Oh wait, can they cast in plus pay mana, right? Okay, sure. So they play the extra land. They could have got land crazes, couldn't they? Yeah. That's weird. I wonder why they chose not to play crazes there. Oh, you're playing without paying mana cost? Oh, that's the that's fires. But you can still pay mana for fires. All right, anyway. Uh, wow, I have nothing to do. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. What was the second website you mentioned? StarCityGame.com and ChannelFireball.com. ChannelFireball is the website that sponsor me. So I appreciate if you if you take a look at that first. But StarCityGame is a very good website as well. Okay, so that's the Christmas for five. They have a Teferi. Probably gonna boss my Bone Crusher G. Ooh, <laughs> Ravager Boom. I, didn't even, I haven't seen this card in so long. This Twitter Galand. Oh, come on. All right, I'll give up here. I mean, I missed the second land drop, but Ravager Boom destroying a land. This is definitely annoying. <laughs> now, I don't even know what it does. Only land or no land permanent? Sorry, non creature permanent. Anyway, um, I don't think I want Gust. I could want Decent Champ, but I think I'm playing as playing Niv Meza, so. I think I, I want Tithe Taker on the draw. Just to strike kills. Okay, yeah, I think I like this. Just to strike kills uh, Crazes and Niv Mizzet. Okay, we're one game away from Mythic, guys. I don't, I don't sell cards. Okay, this one's medium. Uh, I probably would not play Shimmer just to have Dispute for Thought Erasure. Because... Yeah, I'll do that. Because at the end of the day, Shimmer kind of want to find... Fires. I mean, I could find... Uh, I could find the, you know, the... What's it called? The Fury as well. I think I'll go for Shimmer without playing land. They might dispute it. I'll be happy with, with that trade. No mana. No mana. Yeah. Ravage of Worm. Very cool card. Okay. Uh, I'll play Sphinx. As I said, Shimmer. Because, okay, they don't have a counter. I'm not going to get Justice Strike. Despite these options are pretty bad. I'm just going to take a... I'm just going to take a Temple of Triumph here. Play Castle and then get ready to counter the Teferi. Or I don't know what. 
I kind of just want to play defensively now until I find a fire. A fire of invention. Oh, Tide Taker. Uh, that's a good one. I'm going to cast it. Yeah, I think I cast it like this. I don't even know if it's a good one. If this resolves and I just go fires, I can't really deal with it. So I'm supposed to just play land and pass. All right, there it is. Okay, good. Good with Thunder Fires. I'm gonna do end of turn. Growth Spiral. I think I'll... Porca boya. I think I'll counter, but I don't have dispute up for their, for their uh, fires now. But with fires coming up next turn for me, I don't want to be stuck with counters in my hand. And they don't have land. So that was a good play. So I'm gonna play Shock Land, play Fires of Invention. Now, if they go Dispute, I'll go Dispute. If they go Gross Fire, I'll go Dispute. Now, this means that I can't play any spell, but I think I'm glad. I'll pass, but they don't have land. Let's just hope they pass again. Come on, just pass again. Thought Erasure me. Okay, so they can take the Sphinx. Oh wow, they took Shimmer. I, I guess they just have removal stuff for Sphinx, for Sphinx that also works. This cry, they've missed it in the graveyard. Not a very good draw now. Oh wow, they got a land, but it was tapped one. They could still have fires, unfortunately. They scratched the bottom. Oh, that's such a good draw here. Cavalier of Gales. Thank you. Okay, we got Teferi. But I think I just want to play... To play Sphinx now. Right? I have to make a land drop, I think. So I put on top these two. Then I'll play a top land. Play a Sphinx. And pass the turn. I can scry end of turn. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but... I probably just bought them both. I'll, I'll, I'll decide later. Alright, they play Fires. They play Land. They play Niv Mids, probably, because they draw Land there. They play Solar Blaze. Uh, sure, that resolves. I'm gonna shuffle my deck and Scry 2. I don't have these enchanting my deck. The Fairy, I don't think I want it anymore. Let's cry again. I'm looking for just 5 drops here. Tide Taker is no bueno. Alright, I'm gonna scry my upkeep again. Oh, Capitan, I misclicked. Um, sure. Okay, um, I can still scry because I'm gonna play Teferi and Bounce. So, I can still draw a good card. Like a Cavalier of Gales. I don't want this dispute anymore. So, I'll play Teferi, Bounce the Fires, which means that my opponent will uh, have to only play one card if they want to replay the Fires. They can't play two spells. And I'll play Cavalier of Gales, getting rid of this fires almost 100%, unless I get like three lands. Okay, I'll uh. It's two lands away. I'm gonna leave a fires on top, just in case they kill that one. I already played two spells, so I'll pass here. I'm gonna put a stop in my upkeep now. Okay, close game here. It really depends on what they have. I don't think they have. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they do still have a, a Niv Mesa because they play Solar Blades last turn. Oh wow, this is the last game for me. It's been so close, so close. I had a lot of options in this game. Angrath Rampage, sacrifice a creature. Sure. Come on, let's find some more Cavaliers. No? Ah, just a strike. Let's so get rid of the. I wonder why they did like this. I'm gonna bottom both. They can go up fires, but they can't cast anything else. The fairy. Uh huh. If they bounce my fires, okay, I can't scry and upkeep anymore. So let's just draw a card. Alright, come on, let's draw a good one. Come on, Kenrith. Ay ay ay, uh, 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 quattro due sette. I'll play a Fires of Invention. I'll play Tide Taker, and I think I'll play a land, just because I might just need like nine men at some point. Last match of the stream, it is. Put a stop in my upkeep. To get ready.
What did I do? The fires. Please don't play the Mizzet. I don't think I can beat that. Especially because right now I don't have any five drops in my hand. Hopefully they're on top. I mean, there's like all the all the all the like eleven five drops are in the in the deck because the Cavalry of Chaos shuffled itself. Casualties of war. Oh no. We lost it all, poor Caboya. All right, five drop. Tio Bono. Ah, I felt that. I felt that there was definitely somewhere where. Yeah, at least it was the cool deck. Sure. Yeah, Casualties of War is really a beating. Wow, Lockmer Serpent. With like just one swamping play. <laughs> oh my god. This card's so bad. Ah, uh, alright, alright, good game. I give up. Alright, no mythic today, tomorrow. We try tomorrow. I'm gonna host fellow teammate Martin 